The best trading day for a couple of months after a few down days. What's changed the, the thinking? Yeah, a much better day on the markets, Kieran. Look, I think it's all this uh, really much more positive talk. When you think it's a stock like Flight Centre is up 6.2%, the market is really waking up firstly to the idea of unlocking economies, including, of course, Melbourne, but also more broadly with the borders. Funnily enough, uh, the best performer was Service Stream, up 14%. It's got a contract for network operating and uh, maintenance services for the NBN. So we know why that company has gone up as far as it has. Um, but also the talk about uh, the budget and the Reserve Bank, this Team Australia uh, idea that, uh, that actually Westpac chief economist Bill Evans has been talking about today. Now, he is actually uh, expecting another rate cut in the cash rate because, of course, the rate decision is on the same day as the budget, October 6, down from 0.25% the cash rate to 0.1%, which is lit literally just a sliver over zero. We're not going mm. to negative rates, but that there will be potentially that cut, and then that is combined with ongoing stimulus from the government, which today uh, broke a bond record by raising $25 billion in the market. So you can see this is really all building here for a very big big spend and a big easing. And we've got a, a few late annual results coming in this week. Well, yes, we do, actually. We thought the season was over, but there are a couple to mention today. Katmandu, now, their share's down 5.5% today. They've had a bit of a shock year, in part because they bought Ripco, which has had a real horror time uh, through the shutdown. Uh, so they went from an they went an 86% cut in their net profit to just uh, over 8 million New Zealand. The other one was New Farm, who equally had a very bad profit result, but shares were up 4.8%. I mean, if I tell you that the loss, this is the, um, the chemical fertiliser company, the loss was $456 million loss compared with a $38 million profit last year. But I think the market was really looking forward at the outlook for this company, better seasons and slightly better prepared mm. for the way ahead.